Here's a review on mixed factoring, the different techniques that we've used so far. So, how would I factor number one? What do I notice? It's a binomial subtracting. This is a difference of squares. So we're going to square root each term to begin with. So the square root of 4, x squared, is 2x. And the square root of 9 is 3. And then we write 2x plus 3 and 2x subtract 3. Number two, what do I notice? It's a trinomial, and it's simple because the first number is a 1. So we have 12 and 8, and we're looking what two numbers multiply to 12, and the same two numbers add to 8. So find those two numbers, and that's it. Use both positive 6 and positive 2, and you factored it. This one, not so simple. So we need to take the first number times the last number. That's 12 and 13. What two numbers multiply to 12, and the same two numbers add to 13? So think what those two numbers are. And those two numbers are 12 and 1. So 12 times 1 is 12, and they add to 13. Then I write down 12 and 1. And then I take that leading number 4 and divide both numbers by 4. So 12 divided by 4 is 3. 1 over 4 is in lowest term, so I just slide that 4 in front, and it's 4x plus 1. All right, last one to review. We have how many terms here? This is grouping, right? So we're going to take the first two and factor out the least x, which is x squared, and then divide. Then I take the last two, and again, I'm going to factor out a 2, and then divide. Take the factor they both share, write it, and then what's left over, write it, and you did it. All right, are you ready? Practice. Those are the ones you're going to see on the quiz. All right, Mr. G Math, over and out. Good luck.